guys absolutely loved the modded tower, the Bloons Day device, which calls down a giant energy beam from the sky to destroy the balloons. You all loved it so much that we're bringing it back, and now we have a paragon for it. The Apop... What is it? The Apopalyptic Collider. At least, I think that's what it says. I don't know. But it costs 2.1 million dollars so we have a lot of money that we need to get what if we create it oh man i'm actually so hyped for this let's just jump right into it by the way guys make sure to use creator code tootie in the btd6 shop to help support the channel we need we need two thousand dollars well actually before we just get two thousand dollars let's just put down our girl sada and let's start getting some banana farm because two million dollars okay two million dollars is a lot of dollars because i also don't want to just have a base paragon as well i don't want it to be level zero I want it to be a pretty high degree paragon so we're gonna need more money but i absolutely love the idea of the balloon state device i think it might be one of my favorite tower concepts that we've seen here on the channel it's a ray of doom that shoots down instead of sideways does that make sense Right, because the Ray of Doom, it shoots across as a beam. This just shoots straight down on top of it, and it is absolutely epic. Do we just get one of them right now? Should we? Let's do it. Let's do it. I, it it'll slow us down on the process of getting the Paragon, but it'll just be nice to have. Sada could use a little bit of backup anyways. The two of them will probably make a really nice combination. Let's see. 2,000. All right, here we go. There's the... You can't... It, it's huge. It's huge. All right, here. We can put this one right in the middle. This is going to be... This will turn into the Paragon. So we'll put it right here in the middle. And do we just... I don't really care about having it on patrol points. Do we just want to have it right here in the middle? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I am starting to have a little bit of problems. Some balloons... All right, can I put a monkey farmer? Oh, look at this. I can put a banana farmer right there. Nice. Let's start upgrading this thing. So laser gains one piece. I Do we just get the high speed tracking and just have the laser follow the balloons? Probably so, right? So we'll just, there we go. Yeah, we'll just have this thing follow the balloons. That seems way better. Now, do we want to get, probably want to get top path because top path just does so much damage. Laser and then superior laser. And now this thing just follows the balloons. Look at how cool that is. Holy cow, that was a lot of money. Are we okay? No, we're absolutely cruising. We have nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing. High tech laser. Laser gains plus three Moab damage. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get the high tech laser. I mean, we want to get the balloon stuff anyway, so I think that'll be fine. All right, here. Let's put down another balloon state device. Do we want to just always high speed, high speed tracking? Probably having the plasma tracer. I love the tracer on it. It looks so cool. It just looks so cool to have that. All right, here, let's just have it be on patrol points, though. Let's have this just patrol. I mean, we could just have it patrol from here to there. Look at this. So now it just patrols back and forth, and it just draws a line. How cool is that? These two. Okay, these two banana farms have pretty much the same amount of money. So I'm going to turn both of them into a banana research facility and then boost them. My experiment is how much more money do you get by overclocking? Is it really crazy? So, see, they've made about $9,000 or $10,000 each. We need to wait until we have $41,000, though. We'll upgrade them both at the same time, and then I will just overclock one of them, and we'll see which one makes more money, okay? So, I'll actually overclock the one that has significantly, not significantly, just a little bit less money, okay? So, on your mark, get set, and go. All right, and now I'm going to just start overclocking this. So remember, they had about the same amount of money, and I'm just going to start overclocking that as we go. I think that I think that'll lead to some very interesting results. That was just one overclock. Let's just overclock it for a little bit and then we'll come back to it. All right, Starlight Plasma Surge. I guess we can whoa 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 whoa. Are we okay over here? I got to use Sada's ability. I guess I want to just get the stable Bluntonium reactor and I think that'll help. Thank you. We've overclocked it 3 times, right? So, let's see how much money it's made. Remember, they had similar amounts of money. So is it a crazy change or not at all? So the top one has 25,000 made and this is 34. So it's made almost 10,000 more dollars. That's really good. And that's only with three overclocks. So that's actually gonna, that'll end up being very good. So overclocking banana farms makes big money. 
But I probably should be focusing on ultra boosting this banana farm because I think that'll make us way more money in the long run. High speed tracking, smart tracking, wider lens, 90,000 watt generator upgrade, and then ancient alien tech. Nice. All right. So those are kind of all piled on top of each other. And then obviously mix that with the superior laser because that's really nice. Money. All right. We need... Well, we still don't even have all of them upgraded. Okay. Well, there's the unstable plutonium reactor. All right. There we go. So now we can go and get the apocalyptic collider. Oh, man. I'm so excited. But it's so much money. All right, we really need to start working on it to make sure we get enough money. $100,000. We could definitely use for a little bit more money, though. This Mikey Millage has made $63,000, so it's definitely it's definitely made its fair share of money. And it's also helped all of these make more money, too. We have $170,000. Also, no balloons are even thinking about spawning now. Zero, I say. But now that we have a pretty solid setup, we can just skip some rounds. Because we, nothing can ever get past any of this. And we want to get as many pops as these as possible. Wait, what is actually the most expensive? Probably, yeah, definitely the top path. It's $32,000. That's going to work together for some very nice high-level Paragon stuff. Thank you. There's so many ancient civilization tools out here. You have no idea what's coming for you. We have $700,000, which is very nice. All right, let me put this down because... Otherwise, we have no way of seeing some some towers that are just going to sneak on by. Thank you. I, I'm not making that much money. We need to skip rounds. We need to definitely skip some rounds. Thank you. $76,000. All right, we're destroying the BAD. We can just start selling everything, right? Wait, are we... Oh, whoa. We almost didn't have enough. All right, sell, 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 sell. Okay. We can get now we can get the tower now. Are we ready friends? Are we ready for the paragon? Wait, let's sell everything because I want All right, are, is everything sold? Okay Sold it is now time for the balloons day device paragon Yeah <laughs> Let's go give it all my money go. Let's see what it is Whoa Holy cow, it just shoots out tons of lasers what even oh my gosh it even has an ability i want to push the ability button wait it does, we don't even need the ability button oh it is it is strong it is strong okay let's go all right let's skip some crazy rounds let's go up to round 200 and use the ability on it on round 200 all right round 200 use the ability whoa it just covers the map in a shroud it makes the whole map just purple Wait, wait, wait. Ready? I want to use the ability. I can't. It goes too fast. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I messed up. I did the control points. Wait, wait, wait. Instead of control points, have it on pursuit. Wait, they just... Fl the <laughs> wait, don't tell me he can't... No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, can they not hit DDT? No way they can't hit DDTs. I refuse to believe this. I refuse to believe that they can't deal with DDTs. Let me... All right, let me just freeze them. Okay, they can. The DDTs are just really fast. The d I guess round 200 DDTs are a little bit outrageously fast. But look at how much damage it does to BADs. Yeah, once the tower's actually there and attacking... Oh, so it needs to... It needs a little bit of time to build up for all the lasers. I love all the... No! Oh my gosh, take out those towers! Oh my gosh, we almost lost. We definitely need to have some of the Ice Monkey helping us out every once in a while. It does so much. It does 43 million pops. Okay, I love this Paragon. It's so cool. Okay, so there looks like there is a main... Okay, so there's this Triforce Beam. And this seems to be the main... This is the main thing. So I can use it. Oh, okay. Whoa. And then there's all the little beams that kind of follow suit. So it's definitely not that, it's a little slow. So once you get into the higher rounds like this, you have, tr you have problems. But I could just probably just leave it right here. And if you leave it right here, on the spot where it goes all the way around, yeah, it can kind of deal with everything. I don't know what that ability does just yet. I think it just gives it more damage and makes it look awesome. No, the Fortify DDTs, no. 
All right, guys, that's we're gonna end off this video with over 106 million pops, which is epic. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.